Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. Just wanna chat with y'all and I wanna like talk with y'all about something important about this certain artist and her issues with the music industry. Now, I know y'all probably heard about Doja Cat talking about saying that she was retiring from music because I remember there was even a time where she was even live on Instagram talking about saying that she was retiring from music. But yeah, I want to share this video with y'all and I want to break it down with y'all. Doja Cat. Doja Cat is a very talented artist. Doja Cat is very versatile. I like some of her stuff. I dig some of her stuff. But I know, like, a lot of her fans, you know, are, like, surprised about her, like, saying that she's retiring. But but one of the things that I've noticed is that with a lot of these rappers, especially, they be talking about saying that they're gonna retire, but they end up coming back and they end up putting up putting out another album sometimes i just feel that like a lot of these rappers they get too caught up in their ego but i'm gonna break it down with y'all doja cat and the music industry now like i said y'all 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 have heard a lot of my songs and y'all have seen a lot of my videos too that i've done about the music industry the music industry is evil with a lot of these mainstream artists, a lot of these mainstream artists, like I was saying before, they don't have no creative freedom. They don't have no creative control. A lot of these artists don't have the control to like, you know, take take time off when they're on tour, you know, to kind of like get their mental health together because, you know, the major label like has orders for them to do like the major label won't like let them take any time off for their mental health because you know the, these major label artists they just don't have no freedom at all you know i mean i don't know it kind of seems like now these days with the music industry it kind of seems like now these days when it comes down to a rapper being signed to a major label and it's not all rappers but it seems like with a lot of these rappers when they sign to a major label it's pretty much like you know it's pretty much like it's like it's slavery mentally because just like the situation with Lil Xan, Lil Xan, his career is definitely going downhill. Lil Xan was a rapper that didn't really have no control at all. He was definitely being controlled. There was even a time on Instagram when he was trying to go live on Instagram and people were trying to take him off live while he was trying to go live on Instagram. I, I guess it seems like Little Zan didn't really know what he was getting himself into. And, and that's another thing, too. Little Zan was actually blaming his manager, Stat Quo, for, like, his drug addiction. And a lot of y'all probably don't even know this, but Stat Quo is a rapper that used to be associated with Eminem. Stat Quo used to be signed to Eminem. He used to be signed to Shady Records with Eminem. And you see, like, Stat Quo now, like, you know, he ended up being a manager for Little Xan. See, the music industry be doing a lot of stuff to these artists, like a lot of stuff. And, and, and to tell you the truth, to be honest with you, I just feel that, like, Doja Cat is going through some depression. You know, talking about saying that she's retiring and then being live on Instagram saying that she's fed up. And, and that's the thing about it. The music industry, a lot of these artists, they do get fed up with a lot of the, with a lot of the BS, you know what I mean? Not being able to have no creative control, having to write a song about this, having to write a song about, th about that, having to sing a song about this, having to sing a song about that in order for them to get on the top charts. Like if there's somebody that wants to do like a conscious song, they can't do it. That's why I was saying, like, if you somebody out there that wants to have all of your creative control, independent is the way for you to go. You don't have to sign a contract. You don't have to sell your soul to the devil. Yeah, because just like YK Osiris said, as soon as you sign a contract to a record label, you sold your soul. Yeah, and you see, even YK Osiris had 
spoke up about how bad the music industry is saying that the music industry comes from the devil he's not lying and you see doja cat i just feel that she's depressed you know what i mean now she talking about saying that she retiring and i saw something i believe she got nominated for a grammy because i saw that she was at the grammys too i didn't really look at the grammys because i mean the grammys it, it, it seems to me they don't really care too much for hip-hop, but I also saw that Nas performed at the Grammys too, but still, the Grammys don't really care that much about hip-hop. It's been that way for years. But yeah, I honestly just feel that Doja Cat is an artist that's just fed up with the music industry. You know, wanting to have time to relax, wanting to have time to take some time off for your mental health, but you're not able to. And I feel that's, you know, that that was like the issue with Doja Cat. And she mentioned that when she went live on Instagram talking about saying that she was fed up with the music industry. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, you know, what I mean, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, and, and, and that's the thing about it. When it comes down to an artist and when it comes down to an artist's fan base, the fan base, they don't they don't really know what what really goes on behind the scenes. The fans just go by what they see on TV. They just go by what they see on television. They just go by what they see on Instagram. I mean, if y'all have ever um seen the music video for Denzel Curry's song Clout Cobain, Denzel Curry pretty much breaks it down. You know, when it comes down to an artist selling their soul, performing on stage, and like the fans, like he mentioned in the song, they don't even know what's real. He was talking about the fans. And you see Clout Cobain, the lead singer of the rock band Nirvana, Kurt Cobain, he committed suicide. And you see in the scene in the music video, Clout Cobain, it showed like, you know, how, how bad it can really be for an artist how their mental health could be so messed up to the point they just want to end it all. But yeah, and, 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 and like I said before, killing yourself, it's just not worth it at the end of the day. It's not worth it at all. But yeah, again, Doja Cat is a very talented artist, great artist, very versatile but you see, that's what the music industry can do to a lot of these artists. And it seems that's what the music industry is doing to Doja Cat. She's fed up. And, you know, that's why, you know, she talking about saying that she's retiring. Now, do I feel that she's going to stay retired for the whole time? No, I feel she's going to make a comeback. A lot of these rappers do that. They talk about saying that they're going to retire and then they end up making a comeback. But I honestly just feel that she's fed up with the music industry because the music industry can do a lot of bad things to these artists. I just wanted to share this video with y'all because I know y'all, you know, I got people that are like fans of Doja Cat. And I just wanted to break this down. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share. And again, my new song, In the Beginning, it's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's blow it up. Let's run it up. Love y'all.